well, for Biden to get there before Putin is just so delicious, particularly when Putin was planning to give a big speech about his war. He calls it, uh, what is it, uh, a military operation. A uh, big speech about his war. I think it's due in the next few hours if he's still going ahead with it. And he's, he's getting totally upstaged. It must be, I just wonder how Putin can survive this sort of uh, humiliation even before his own people. And it would be a tough sell to his own people when a lot of what the world sees of Joe Biden is the gaffes. It is him struggling with the auto cues. It is him getting older. And he's not been a strong presence in this global stage. This whole operation being managed so brilliantly has really blown that out of the water. But don't forget, Joe Biden has to talk to his audience back here in the US as well. This has cost the US a lot of money, $50 billion. And with no end in sight, they need to rally not just the US, but Europe. And so this is a strong statement to European allies to say, the US isn't backing down, you need to stand with us. And Zelensky made that point when he gave his remarks next to Joe Biden, when the invasion happened and Joe Biden said to him, what do you need? He said, I need you to rally our allies. And the clear message was, this isn't over. It's been a long year. There's been 7,000 Ukrainian civilians killed, 11,000 maimed, more displaced, and spoken of tragedies and rapes and displacement of children. And what we are seeing is the global community saying, we're going to keep pushing back on this because it's the right thing to do. And the other factor in this, of course, is that sounds like China's been looking at giving more support to Russia. And so this is a strong message from the Americans when they're dealing with balloons flying over the country to say, we're not going to tolerate that either. Uh, that's absolutely true. I, I think, you know, Joe Biden can't go to Ukraine like this and stand there and then step back and let it fall to the Russians. They are now all in. If, if, if they weren't before, they certainly are now totally all in. Annalise Nielsen, thank you so much for your time.